plastic watering can for a fake Chinese rubber plant in a fake plastic earth. That she bought from a rubber man in a town full of rubber plants to get rid of itself and it wears around. Where's around? It wears around. It wears around. She lives with a broken man. A fake polystyrene man Who just crumbles and burns He used to do surgery For girls in the eighties but gravity always wins. Where's the mount? Where's the mount? Where's the mount? In the She looks like the real thing She tastes like the real thing My fake plastic love Can't help the feeling I could blow through the ceiling If I just turn and run And it wears me out It wears me out It wears me out It wears me out uh, If I could be Who you wanted If I could be Who you wanted All the time Hey, my name's Gravity Groove. Welcome to Not Safe for Work, Runeterra. That was Fake Plastic Trees by Radiohead. And uh, sometimes I just gotta sing a song that encapsulates my mood. So, I'm not gonna be recording for a little while. And uh, that's because my surgery is tomorrow. Uh, I haven't gone under major anesthetic in uh, a very long time so I'm a little freaked out about that and I hope it goes well it's uh, fairly routine 
from what I'm told, but you know, I'm also a fairly unlucky guy. So uh, if you don't see me, at least I left you with something beautiful to remember me by. Today, we're going to be playing something we haven't played in a while. That is usually reliable, but not so much in a meta full of ramp, I assume. Um, we're going to try Twisted Swain. Now, this deck was... Uh, was usually a pretty reliable deck against other aggro based matchups. It could get burned down because there's a complete lack of healing here, so protecting your life total is important. Its vulnerabilities include very large overwhelm type decks and creatures, as well as very low to the ground burn if their removal doesn't line up. The fearsome deck can actually get uh, get a lot of damage in on this deck because we have a preponderance of two power creatures two power two power uh, two power off the petty two power two power you see a problem here uh, none of our stuff blocks well so our removal has to line up really really perfectly to not get blown up in that matchup um, I think at one point we had one riptide rex and three salvages we've just Switched it back to two Riptide Rexes. Uh, we don't have a ton of enablers in this deck, but I felt like having more uh, finishers in this format was currently a little better. Uh, I also like this deck a little better than the uh, GP Twisted Fate deck that I had previously been using to level, only because now that feels, uh, Zero Grifter feels a little unreliable. But every deck. Uh, and every meta is slightly different day-to-day, uh, hour-to-hour, -hour, because the people you're queuing with are going to change. So what we're hoping, and again, hoping is something I don't particularly enjoy about this game, we're hoping is that the meta currently is sort of mid-range in aggro decks, where it feels like this would do well. If everything we queue into is Trundle Asol, Trundle Asol, Lux Asol, uh, War Mothers, then... We, we probably can't win any of our matches, and that'll be decided before we even before we even really play any cards. So, uh, here goes. Okay, this might be reasonable. We do have a fair amount of ways to interact with Teemo. Although we didn't draw any. There we go. I was gonna say a turn one Teemo could be problematic, but we did draw at least one answer. Ideal hit here would be a uh, house spider. Nope. Well, that kind of sucks. If we just go petty with a keg. Okay, now I guess we just need to. Pray. Yeah, it's not exactly what we were looking for. There's a chance a future, uh, a future twisted fate or make it rain will clean this up for me. Trees. 
As has been mentioned, uh, this deck is no healing, so we do have to be careful about our life total. It's pretty ideal. Him playing another Teemo here would actually be really great for us. Um, so we could block this and zap, but I think I like just playing Twisted Fate. Heal me in. It does give him another Sushwani trigger, so maybe I should have blocked it, but... Something for we do have to worry about the um, Scarlet Seer in this deck, too. It can cause things to get very out of control. So we got to kill two of his creatures. He spent a spell to kill uh, one of ours, so Twisted Fate usually doing his job of drawing the aggressive cards. We just take the 3-5 here. Let fury spill from the sky! That's lucky for us. Um, I think we deal the two here so that we can Ravenous Flock it. My original idea was that we were going to draw a card here, but now, Never lost a fair game. now I feel like this is the play. Hold it, partner. And I think I even go for the Flock here. Yeah. Really aggressively targeting our twisted fates. But he's doing so for no value. You own what you take. That's extremely unfortunate, and that's very, very big. <laughs> so we really needed to have time to come back around to uh, Stand and fight. to getting our Leviathan out, but now we might just be dead because the size of the Sejuani is uh, truly menacing. He's going to get two attack cycles before we can uh, get our Leviathan out. So I think now we're doing this, and then we're burning all of our removal on Sichuani. Show them our teeth! Fury of the North, we can still finish it with Death Sand. And we'd rather he use it now than on our attack phase. If he has multiple uh, defensive measures, we're just screwed. be enough for us to still have a game here. Carved 
from the savage cold. No, oh, we're just dead anyway now. If he has another fury, we die on the spot. Bristle, attack! It's incredibly, incredibly unlucky for us. Artillery barrage! Now, so long as we can make it out of this turn, the Leviathan should, in theory, finish him. Leviathan's also an overwhelm unit, so we could potentially just throw it at him. Sizwani is an insanely powerful card. Like, just insanely powerful. And for him to have drawn three of them. Sejuani, Mercurial, Sejuani, immediate replacement of another Sejuani. The kind of luck I expect my opponents to have, like, it's just what always seems to happen when I play this game, is either I draw spectacularly poorly or my opponent draws like they're uh, designed the game themselves and stacked the deck themselves. See, I have a pull-up keyboard desk here, and my cat, who loves laughs, uh, is always trying to jump on me no matter what I'm doing. And, uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit. My lap has a keyboard tray over it, so you end up laying on the keyboard, and I can't reach the mouse. You don't care. She doesn't care that she's inconveniencing me. Okay. This could either be um, burn or uh, endure. Probably endure. Endure is not a spectacular matchup for us because if they have it, I mean, we can't really work around it. But we can kill a lot of their stuff. It really just comes down to if they get the endure. Lady Elise? Where are you? Since we don't have tools to interact with the indoor. Try to get as much chip damage in as we can, but it's not, it's not great. Um... No, keg helps me that much here. Well, that doesn't help me at all. And they have the Wombo Combo of immediately leveling Callisto. So we probably lose this game. 
currently they're getting this or the spider producer back, which again is bad for us indoor wise. This must be the version that has the collector in it. Yeah, this is pretty much their ideal, their ideal curve. In the indoor deck we play, it's one drop into Cursed Keeper into uh, Blighted Caretaker. But in their in their deck, it's uh, three drop into uh, yeah. So they didn't attack, which is going to give us an opportunity to stun this here. All the colors. But we will need uh, we will need to find a piece of removal if we want a chance of taking this out. That's perfect. This will probably be glimpsed. No glimpse is very lucky for us. Never played. Pretty annoying. So we appropriately called that. I think we place Swain and swing it into them because they absolutely have to block Swain. No options there. I also think we swing the petty. Leave them not. Um, because we have this. I don't want to give them too many easy blocks. Took the wrong turn, didn't you? It's pretty low on resources already. So we're in that spot again where if we can make it to the Leviathan turn, things might be good for us, but it's a pretty big if. And currently we don't have a good way of dealing with the collector. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Flux is a pretty decent way. Um Huh. Now, the option could be to kill this to see if we would have an open attack, but I'm pretty skeptical that that's true. So we'll just kill this, and we'll still have an open attack, and he'll have to block, and we'll have one of the intense toughness here. Victory awaits! Wow. Didn't have anything. So he didn't have a glimpse to counter our Callista, our uh, removal of Callista. It was in he the didn't gut. have anything off the Stalking Shadows, which is incredibly unfortunate, to be honest. And uh, he didn't have Endor, apparently. That went pretty well. Do you know how every streamer, every person out there who produces content is like screaming, wild, manic, crazy, int uh, like over intense, oversold, overproduced energy when they do a show? I don't, I don't do that, man. It's just not me. That radio DJ voice guy. Hey, everybody out there. How are you doing? So great to see you all. You know, remember to smash the like button down there below and... It's just not us, folks. It's just not us. You know, if that's your jam, that's fine. I'm all about it. You do you. This hand looks fine. We've got lots of ways to kill uh, two, uh, the one toughness creatures. We've got a death hand. We've got blockers. This looks good. Yeah, if you're into that sort of thing, that's all good, man, but it's just not what we're about here. 
They'll never see it coming. Unfortunately, we go second, so we have no way to stop the three damage hit. House Spider would have been perfect, but you know. We get what we get. No one's the wiser. <laughs> yeah, this deck's like uh, 10 or 11 one drops. Fortune favors the bold. I think we want to play this to stop the misfortune attack. If we get a two toughness thing, we can block this too. Yeah. Everything's in place. Buy me a favorite look. Love you. Really, really aggressive attacks. Keep up, keep up. Like a fish in Damn water. <laughs> Another misfortune. So now we probably make our own barrel. It's okay, it's not great. That's one of our better matchups because the pirate aggro deck is, um, I believe, between 8 and 12 uh, one drops. And keeping a double make it rain hand is just going to be too good for them on, on the average. It's uh, scarier when they're just curving out into like into jack and uh, gangplank really quickly, but we ended that game so early by suppressing them. Pretty solid so far. We'll try one more. We haven't run into our auto lose match yet, so we're probably overdue. That being Trundle. This deck, like most decks, just can't beat Trundle. Like, you need very specific tools. Like, Frostbite can freeze it and culling strike it. Or beat it in combat. Yeah, here, here we go. So this is War Mother's Control. Um, it's pretty unfavorable for us. We're going to play it out because we're sort of obligated to, but I don't think it's a winnable match. And this is what I mean by matchup roulette. Like, the last couple matches we had were, were winnable matches, matches that were even. Um, this match is so incredibly unfavorable, it almost feels like a waste of time to play. Wrong if you work, burn if you don't! Great. Helpful. Not only did we get a bad roll, <laughs> we lost two petties. We're doing no damage. Yeah, this deck is so, so tremendously powerful at stalling. There's just very little you can do to change the cadence of the match. Uh, and see, they're just passing because they just. They're going to blow up anything I play. Like, it doesn't really matter what I do. It's going to get blown up. 
in which case, I guess we'll just draw a card. Right? Either way, we're drawing a card. Do you want to keep up, keep up? Avalanche. Mm -hmm. Unspeakable horror. Sure. Still so dealt three to them there. Doesn't matter against this deck. Doesn't accomplish anything. Master, your demons. This will probably result in a vengeance. These are trollers. So. He has troll chant, which of course he does. So now we have to do this. You understand why I've become frustrated with the uh, with the game. And it's because of this card, it's because of decks like this that just drag the game out forever and put you in positions where you, you can't win and you almost feel like you're being punished for trying to play. Like, this is a, a mid-range deck, basically. It's It doesn't win fast, it wins medium. But we haven't put a single point of damage on our opponent in round six because they've either healed through everything, canceled everything, stalled everything, or killed everything and it just doesn't feel fun to, to play a game like that where you feel like you're repeatedly just so you know being slapped in the face by a big brother like you're obviously you're obviously unfavored and you're stuck in it all the damage we do is trivial So next turn is going to be their War Mother's turn. Unfortunately, our draw is very, very awkward. Um, just so awkward. So now we have uh, Rex or Leviathan, I suppose depending on what happens here. If he has War Mothers, he really has to cast it. Casting the Stall card first. Um, this means we could be playing into Ruination. So, I think the correct play is actually just to pass back. I smell a fight. So He naturally just gets his absolute best two goals. Because life is pain. Uh, and these cards are so, so hard to interact with via Riptide that I don't even know if it matters. 
I think we just have to play Swain. He's going to remove it, and then we concede. We play Riptide. It can deal up to 14 damage spread across multiple targets. Uh, we could play Riptide post-combat, I guess. Gotta trust your instincts. Leviathan. Swain. With Swain, we have uh, at least the chance to potentially stun one of their blockers. So, we can just cast two of these and hope we hit his Nexus? Or we're casting one to guarantee we hit the Nexus. Um... If we get two stuns, does it even matter? That's random. There's one. Such little lies. Keep in mind, he could just have Rumination here, and this has all been for naught anyway. Our attack wouldn't have been lethal because he has way too much toughness on the field for that to be a consideration. These are dark omens. Sure. And now he has another beefy blocker, so we can't get through. Hit him. So now our attacks are meaningless. We will be stun locked this turn. For the thrill of battle, lead for nothing. Ruination. I don't know what's happening here. Hesitation's a tell. This is gonna be fun. So, I'm thinking this stuns us out of combat, right? Oh no. It didn't? Why would it just stun it twice? Okay. I don't really understand that, folks. But it didn't matter. This is not and here. that's why we we don't like playing Rune Terror anymore. Because decks like War Mothers and decks like Asol Trundle just remove all of the choice, all of the gameplay, all of the interactivity, all of the fun from the deck, and force you to play scouts. So your choice is play scouts or lose to the ramp deck. Um, honestly, I, I think I agree with some of the some of the pros who've been saying that elusive needs to be powered up again. Because what elusive did, and I hated elusive, but what elusive did was that it forced these greedy decks to be more interactive and be more mid-range, 
or they would just lose to unblockable things. Uh, as it is now, the greed decks just beat all the other decks, and it's unfun for me to be stuck playing either the greediest deck in that format or scouts. I hate scouts. It's incredibly boring to me. It's it's low decision. It doesn't have a lot of interest. But uh, yeah, that's that's the state of the game, folks. If you have complaints, I would encourage you to uh, go to the Reddit for Legends of Ruterra and, uh, and talk about your opinions. I would also encourage you to go to the official uh, Legends of Ruterra Discord or uh, leave a comment on Riot's website about why you think the, uh, the game is deteriorating. Thanks so much for hanging out. My name is from Gravity Groove for Not Safe for Work Ruterra. If you enjoyed the show, or at the very least the song, uh, it'd be cool if you leave a like. Uh, you don't have to, but that would be cool. If you want to support the show, you can click in the description below to see how you can potentially do that. And once again, thanks for hanging out. Later, and wish me luck. Boom.